Hey guys, it's APK here with another Halo 5 video. In today's video, we'll be covering why in a recent post, Microsoft didn't list Halo Xbox One as a game releasing in 2014, what they had to say in regards to the heavily debated Halo Xbox One title, why they called Halo their most important IP, and what they promised the Halo TV series to be. In an Xbox Wire post made by Yusuf Mehdi, the VP of Xbox Marketing, the following was said about Xbox One's 2014 releases. Now if you look in that list of games, you'll notice that Halo wasn't mentioned once, including Halo on Xbox One, which in the E3 trailer was said to be coming in 2014. Many Halo fans pointed out Halo's exclusion in the list and began to panic, thinking that the next Halo title would be pushed back to 2015. In response, Rob Semzi, the senior PR manager for Halo, had this to say in regards to the exclusion. Xbox Wire today mentioned a few 2014 titles. Halo on Xbox One was not listed due to the official name of the next title not being announced yet, and went on to say the following, Rest assured, your next Halo journey will begin in 2014. Stay calm. Now of course, this confirms a 2014 release for the next Halo title, but it also tells us one more thing. Halo Xbox One is not the official title of the next Halo game. Despite constant signs that Halo 5 will in fact be the title of the next game, many fans continue to stand by the Halo Xbox One title. Now we know for sure that Halo Xbox One is indeed not the official title of the next Halo game and is indeed just a placeholder. In other news, earlier this morning, OXM posted an article in which Phil Spencer, VP of Microsoft Studios, spoke on the importance of Halo and in regards to what the Halo TV series is going to be like. He said the following, Halo, you could argue, is the most important entertainment IP Microsoft owns. As a result of this, Spencer assured OXM that Microsoft isn't treating the Halo TV series as filler and that they know that they can, quote, can introduce more people to the IP by putting the franchise, stories, and characters in more accessible mediums than a first-person shooter. Furthermore, he said that, quote, if we're going to do a television series with Halo, we're going to do it the right way, and we're going to do it because we think it really matters. This is probably the reason why Microsoft went out and got someone like Steven Spielberg to collaborate on the series, so expect the Halo TV series to be a pretty big deal. It's very reassuring to see that Microsoft still views Halo as its number one IP, and that they're willing to expand its reach in order for the series to get the attention it deserves. That wraps it up for today's video, but before you guys go, I have one question for you. Do you think a Halo TV series is a good idea? Let me know why or why not in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a like, and if you're interested in staying up to date with all Halo 5 news, make sure to subscribe. Alright guys, this is APK, signing out.